Hello, in this video we're going to be showing you some of the touchscreen gestures on the LG G2. So the primary way to interact with the device is through the use of your fingers and there are different types of gestures you can use on the device to do different things. So here I'm using one finger and swiping across the screen to do something. So just simply swiping to scroll through the different screens. I then got the single finger tap so I can tap on the apps tray. I can tap on the messaging to go into it. I can tap on the home key to go back, so that's tapping. I've then got press and hold, so I could press and hold on this icon here for it to actually do something, so the screen has then changed. But if I release the hold, that then comes off. If I press and hold on an empty space of the home screen, I then get a menu come up that allows me to customize it. If I tap with a single tap back to the home screen, I'm then back here. If I press and hold on this widget again, or this app, I can then drag. I haven't released my hold on the screen, but I can drag this around and move it to a different position on screen like so. I've then got the option to pinch like so, and I've been given an overview of the home screens. Do that again, so I pinch into the screen like so. If I was to go into my gallery, into a picture that I may have taken, so I just tap in here, so I've got the image open there, but I can tap into it and I can pinch in and out like so to zoom in and out of the picture. So you can see how my fingers are moving to and from and affecting the zoom on the picture there. So if I go into a web browser, I've got a news article up, and this is the desktop view, not a mobile site, and I can pinch and zoom on here as well. And I can use my finger to sort of swipe up and down the page and move around. And if I was zoomed in, I can then do the same sort of thing by pressing, holding, and moving around. If I double tap on the screen here, actually zooms me in and out of the page of text so I can more easily view and read some of that and it automatically configures to the page. If I go back to the home screen, one of the unique things about the G2 is something called knock-on. So at the home screen I can double tap, do that again, like that, and it turns the screen on or off. So if I double tap again, it turns it on can swipe to unlock it, I've got no security here. If I was inside an app, I can't double tap on the screen and turn it off. I need to go right to the top of the screen in the notification bar and double tap it. And then that turns it off again. Turn it on. So that's the primary gestures uh, on the G2. Another feature that's on here is something called slide aside, which uses three fingers when you slide from right to left to keep apps open but put them to the side of the screen. So you'll actually see at the top here we've got a little notification to say we've got one. That's one app that's actually sort of slid aside to the side of the screen and then to open that up we do a three finger swipe from the left to the right. Now I actually find this a little bit tricky. So there we've opened up uh, our email app that was closed. So if I try and three finger swipe it, I've got rid of that. If I go into the gallery and I do the same thing again, you can see how it's a little bit tricky to get your three fingers and the device to actually register um, that there. It, I don't find it particularly natural. In fact, you can really see I'm struggling. There we go. And then to open it up again, you do that, again, coming from the left to the right, and you've got your two tabs open, because I've got two um, slid to one side, and I open the one I want, and that's slide aside. So that's a video showing some of the gestures on the LG G2.